Hi, welcome back to Tom's Life. Today's Sunday special is Mediterranean chicken tray bake. So the ingredients you need is a box of chicken thighs with the skin on, new potatoes, a pack of tomatoes, two chilies, one lemon, shallots, one pepper, olive oil, salt and ground black pepper and paprika and parsley. So first step, we're going to make our marinade for our chicken thighs. So first step, you're going to make your marinade for your chicken thighs. So you're first going to place all your chicken into the bowl. Just like that. So now we're going to get some olive oil. You're just going to put a little splash in. And then some seasoning and paprika. And then we want to give them all a good coat in so they get a good marinade. So you first off adding your seasoning. We'll add a little bit of ground black pepper. Shake it off. And you also want to add in some salt. Just like that, not too much. And you want to add a good pinch of paprika. And then now you want to get your hands in and give them all a good coat in. Get all the way round. So they all get a nice coat of the seasoning, oil and paprika. Do this for a few minutes so they get a nice coating. And you could also leave this overnight if you want the flavours to coat in. So next step, you're going to start prepping your vegetables. You're going to first off chopping your pepper in half. You're going to chop the lid off. You're going to de-seed it all. Get all the skin out and the seeds. Give it a good tap. So you just want to get them all out and then the flesh. Just use your fingers to feel. Give it one more final tap. And then you will then you will chop it in half and do medium strips. So once you have de-seeded your pepper, you first want to chop it in half. You want to put one to one side, and then you just want to slice it into strips. You can either go one way and then the other, it's up to you. So you're just slicing them. Always remember to move your fingers out the way. And then you're just going to chop them again. Bring them all together. So you've got nice big pieces like that. You're going to get a mixing bowl. And we're going to throw all our vegetables in the one bowl because when we have done our chicken and potatoes it will be like a one pot dish but all in the oven so we're just prepping all our vegetables to start off with so next step we're going to prep our shallots you'll get a bag of shallots and you want to take out the two big ones you've got in your bag you first want to chop your ends off
and you want to peel two layers of the skin off so you're just peeling the two layers of skin off get all the skin and then when you've done that you'll you'll chop it into chunks like the same you did with your pepper now you want to get your shallot and you just, want to, you just want to slice it like that. I show you again. So we're just slicing our shallot. Be careful with your fingers. And once you've got nice pieces like that, you're going to place them all in with your pepper. And then you'll do the same with your other shallot. So next step you want to prep your tomatoes you want two tomatoes you just want to chop them down the middle and then you just want to chop them into three okay with your fingers i show you again and then you're going to place them in the bowl with your peppers and shallots And you do the same with your other tomato and then once we've done all our prep we give them all a good toss in some seasoning and a little bit of olive oil so next step you're going to prep your chilies you're first going to chop your ends off just like that then you're going to chop them down the middle Be careful with your fingers. You're going to take all the seeds out in flesh because you don't want it to be too hot. You just want to have a little kick. So you want it, you don't want it to be too spicy. So you just you're just taking out all the seeds. And you just want the flesh. So you just, you just carefully take all the seeds out and then when you've chopped them, after when you've done both your chilies, please do not touch your eyes because they will go red. So you want to carefully wash them. So next you want to finally slice your chili after when you have took all the seeds out. You want pieces like that. You're going to place it in your bowl with your tomatoes, pepper and shallot. You do the same with your other chilli. Then you add in some seasoning and a little bit of oil. And then you will, you will keep your chicken and boil your new potatoes. So next you want to chop your lemon in half. You'll squeeze this over your chicken and vegetables at the end to serve. So you're now going to prep your parsley. You want to break some parsley off the stalks. So you're just going to pick all the leaves off. So you're just picking the leaves. We use half for what goes in with our vegetables. And we'll leave a little bit for presentation. So you're just picking all the leaves off. And then you'll finally slice it. You can use other herbs, but today I'm just using parsley. Once you have picked all the leaves off the stalks, you just want to finally slice 
your parsley in the pieces then bring it back together give it another chop chop to how fine you want it and like I said before we put a little bit in with our vegetables and chilli and then we will put a little bit in a bowl for presentation at the end so you're just finally chopping it like that just do one more final chop bring it all back together Now you want to place it in and then you want to put the rest in the bowl. So next you're going to preheat your oven and hob. So I'm switching on the back hob. You just want to set it to medium where we will boil our potatoes in a minute. And you want to set the oven now. So using my bump on to tell me which one is the oven. You want to set this at 200 degrees. I have set that at 200 degrees. Let that just preheat while you place all your chicken on your tray. So our chicken has been marinating now. Now we're just going to place it on the baking tray with some paper for it portioned. You want to lay them all out. So they can all cook and then about halfway through we'll take them out and place all our vegetables next to it or on top and then we'll place it back in the oven to cook our vegetables but first you're going to cook your chicken as you can see in the pan I have put my new potatoes with some hot water you just want them to start to boil for 10 to 12 minutes so they're cooked all the way through or nearly there and then in a minute we'll place our chicken in the oven to cook for 15 to 20 minutes the reason why we're doing 15 to 20 minutes because we're going to bring it out and then we're going to place all our vegetables on next to our chicken or you can take the chicken out and lay it on top and then you'll place it back in the oven to cook even longer but we just want to start cooking our chicken now you're going to place your chicken in the oven to cook for 15 to 20 minutes so you're putting it on the top shelf you're closing the door and then you keep an eye on it and then you'll bring it out after 20 minutes and place all your vegetables on top of your chicken now you just want to put a little bit of olive oil in with your vegetables and chilli and you also want to add in a little bit of salt and pepper first off with the salt and you also want to add in a bit of ground black pepper Now you want to give them all a good toss in so they get a nice coat on them and when the when our new potatoes are done we'll drain them and we'll place them into so they get the coat and then we'll place all this on the bottom of our tray and then we'll place the chicken back on the top to cook for another 20 minutes so you've got a nice crispy chicken and all your vegetables have got a nice coating and then you'll squeeze some lemon juice and parsley on top to serve so your potatoes nicely cooked now your new potatoes you're going to place them in 
in with your all your vegetables and chilies. You're just going to give them a little toss so they get a little cold. Give them a little shake. Now you're going to bring all your vegetables and your potatoes. You're going to place it on your your baking tray. You're going to lay it out in a nice even layer. And what you're going to do is you're going to place your chicken back on top of your vegetables and new potatoes and then you will cook it you will cook them for five to ten minutes do you finish off making your skin nice and crispy and all the juices drop down to your vegetables and potatoes so you're just carefully going to place them on top Might be a little bit warm. Spread them all out. And now in a minute you're going to place it back in the oven to cook for another 5 to 10 minutes. And then you'll serve up. And then and then sprinkle some parsley and a little bit of lemon juice to serve. Now you're placing it back in the oven to cook for 5 to 10 minutes. You keep an eye on it, you close the door and then when it's done you sprinkle with some parsley and a little bit of lemon juice to serve. So when everything is cooked you place your chicken in the middle in your plate and then you round all the edges you place all your vegetables and potatoes you want to squeeze just a little bit of lemon juice all over catching any pips and then just sprinkle a little bit of parsley Just like that. And this is how you make my Mediterranean chicken fry tray bake. Hope you like this. Don't forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe and thank you. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. More videos coming soon.